Facebook is a powerful platform for all types and sizes of business. You can reach more potential customers, grow your brand online, and engage in paid and organic marketing activities across Facebook and Instagram, as well as other business-related activities. However, in order to use Facebook for business, you do need to create a professional Facebook business page. And today in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process of how you can create a professional business page for your brand on Facebook in just a few minutes. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this updated Facebook business page tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and navigate through the process of creating a Facebook business page in 2023. <music> Okay, so like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a Facebook business page tutorial for complete beginners looking to create a professional business page in 2023. Now, in the past, I've created multiple tutorials for different years. However, every year there are changes and updates to the interface and what you can actually do with your Facebook business page. So today we're going to navigate through the process of actually setting up your professional Facebook business page as well as discuss some important optimizations that you can make to get the most out of your Facebook business page and grow your business online. Okay, so diving right in, what you want to do is head over to your browser and type in facebook.com and that's going to take you here. If you currently do not have a personal account, then you do need to create a personal Facebook profile first. And then once you've arrived on your Facebook profile or your newsfeed, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate see all. Then navigate over to page. Here, what we want to do is navigate over to page name and add your page name. This is our business page, so what you want to do is add the name of your business. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and create a professional Facebook business page for a business called Gould and Garrett, which is a jewelry business. Now, this is just an example business for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, so once you've added your business name, simply navigate down to category and click here and then type in the category that you operate in. Test the different keywords that are related to your business. For us, we're a jewelry shop, so I'm going to navigate down and click on jewelry and watches shop. And I'm happy with that category. What you can do is add multiple categories. I recommend just choosing one that best describes your business. Then navigate down to bio and add a brief description about your business. And once you've added a brief bio, simply navigate down to page and click on create page. Then take your time to add your business's contact information, location and hours. I'm going to go ahead and quickly add that information now. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and added my website in here. Now, if you currently do not have a domain name or a website, then what I'll do is add a few tutorials down in the description below this video that will help you choose the right domain name for your business, as well as create a free website for your brand. So go ahead and check out those tutorials if you don't have a domain name or a website. Then down here, you can see I added my business phone number. We added our business email address. This is just a Gmail that we're using for the purpose of today's tutorial. Then down here, we've added an example location of this business and then also the hours that we operate. Once you've taken the time to add that information, come down and click on next. Then navigate up to add profile picture and add cover photo. This is where we want to add branding for our professional business page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add profile picture. And here we have our business logo here that I'm going to upload. And I'm happy with this logo. Now, if you currently do not have a logo for your business or you want to further customize your logo so it works with your business page, then what you can do is head over to canva.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you to Canva. And basically Canva is a free design tool that allows you to create any types of designs and graphics that you like. You can simply navigate over to the search bar up here within Canva and then type in logo. Then come down and click on logo. 
then you can select from the thousands of templates that you can use to then further customize your logo. I'm going to go ahead and click on create a blank logo. Then under templates, what you can do is navigate up to search logo template and type in a keyword related to your business. For me, I'm going to select jewelry as this is a keyword. This is the category that I operate in. Then as you can see down here, I can select from these different templates down here and then I can customize them the way that I like. For example, this is the logo I used for today's tutorial. And all I did is navigated over to this text element over here and then change this to my business name. Now, if you want to learn more about how you can make the most of Canva to create a logo for your business, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to take the time to navigate through and learn how to create a logo for free for your business. Okay, so what I'm going to do is head back to our Facebook business page and then navigate down to add cover photo. Again, this is where I'm going to add a cover photo that I created earlier within Canva. And I'm happy with the cover photo and profile picture for my Facebook business page. Now, if I head back to Canva, I'll show you what I did to find this cover photo. Within Canva, all I did is navigated over to the search bar and typed in Facebook cover. And as you can see, if I navigate down here, we have Facebook cover. All I did was selected here, and then on the design, all I did is navigated over to photos, typed in jewelry, and then located an image I wanted to use for my cover. And then when I was happy with the image, I just navigated up to share, and then I came down and clicked on download, and then I downloaded this Facebook cover. So it's as simple as that to download a profile picture as well as a cover photo for your Facebook business page. Okay, so what I'm going to do is head back to our Facebook business page, and then navigate down to add action button. This is where you want to think about the exact CTA, call to action, that you want your customers or potential customers to make when they land on your Facebook business page. So go ahead and click on try it. And as you can see, this is where we can tell people how to engage with you by customizing the action button at the top of your page. This is your primary call to action button. And there's a few options down here that we can choose from. We can select book now, connect a scheduling tool. So let's say you're using Calendly and you want to book appointments. This could be your main call to action. Then you would select here and you can link your appointment form. You can also connect to a sign up form on your website or even a order page on your website. Let's say you're a restaurant and you want people to order from your website. That's your main action. You want your website visitors and your Facebook business page visitors to make. Then you can go ahead and select here. Then there's other options down here. Get tickets, view shop. If you sell products online, you can connect your shop. We have send a message, which will automatically open up Messenger and that Facebook business page visitor can send a message directly to you. We can send WhatsApp message. You can connect WhatsApp to your Facebook business page. You can call now, add this call now button, which means your Facebook business page visitors can automatically call from their phone. This is an ideal call to action if you're a service-based business and you want to drive phone calls. You can simply get people to send you an email or contact you. There's all these different options down here. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate up here and select view shop because this is the best call to action for this type of business. Remember, I'm creating a Facebook business page for a jewelry business that has an online store. So I want my Facebook business page visitors to click view shop so that they can view and purchase products on our online store. Now you can always change your action button later on. So I'm gonna navigate down and click on next. And then here I have the option to choose where I want to send people who click on this button. Do I want people to go and shop on Facebook so people can shop directly on Facebook with my Facebook shop or connect another tool or link on website. So what I want to do is link my online store to my Facebook business page so that when a potential customer clicks on this action button, that's going to take them to our online store. So I'm going to go ahead, click here and then come down and click next. And I'm going to navigate up here and paste in my website link. 
Now, if you're creating a Facebook business page for an online store, but you currently do not have an e-commerce website, an online store to sell your products, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of how you can create an e-commerce website, an online store for free using a powerful platform called Equid, which is ideal for beginners. So feel free to check out that tutorial if it's relevant to you. Then once you've added your website link, come down and click on save. And for those that added a different action button, make sure you add the correct information that Facebook is after. For example, if you want people to call through to your business, then you want to add your business phone number. Then once you've done that, navigate down and click on next. Here, WhatsApp's going to ask if you use WhatsApp for your business. What you can do is simply connect your WhatsApp number with your Facebook business page so that your customers can get in touch with you via WhatsApp. For those that don't know how to use WhatsApp for business, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of how you can get started with WhatsApp for business. So go ahead and check that out if you like. For me, I'm actually going to navigate down and click on skip because we don't have a WhatsApp number for this example business. However, I highly recommend you add your WhatsApp number if you use WhatsApp for business. WhatsApp's becoming more popular for businesses in terms of message and chat communication between contacts, customers, and their audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on skip. And then here you can invite your friends to follow your Facebook business page. I'm gonna leave that for now and click on next. Again, you can invite your network of friends to follow your Facebook business page after you've completed creating your Facebook business page. Then up here, we wanna make sure that this is enabled, page notifications on your profile, and I wanna keep this disabled, email and promotional emails about your page. Then I'm gonna come down and click done. And congratulations, just like that, you've completed the fundamental steps to setting up your Facebook business page. Now we need to dive into further information to ensure our Facebook is correctly set up for success. I'm gonna navigate up here and click not now. And then what we can do is navigate over to manage. Then if we navigate over to the left-hand side, what we can do is navigate down the page and we can finish setting up our Facebook business page. What we wanna do is come down and click on page access. And this is where we can navigate over to add new and we can add additional people that we want to add to our Facebook business page to help us manage our page. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate back over to settings and under settings, what we're gonna do is navigate over to our name. So we can go ahead and change our Facebook business page name if we like. However, this is our business name, so we're gonna keep that the same. And then down here, we have the option to add a username. To do that, simply navigate over to edit, click here and then come down and add a username. Think about the Facebook username as an easy way for people to discover your Facebook business page. The best way to take advantage of this feature to increase your visibility and discoverability on Facebook is to add your exact business name. Make sure that your username is available. If it's not available, then you'll just need to play around with a few different variations. Then come down and click on Save Changes. Then navigate over to Linked Accounts, and here you can connect your Instagram business account. And what I'll do is add a few tutorials down below in the description that will guide you through the process of how you can actually create an Instagram business account or how you can turn a normal Instagram account into a business account. And I'll also share a tutorial that will show you different methods that you can use to connect your Facebook business page and your Instagram business accounts together. So go ahead and connect your Instagram business account if you have one and then navigate over to WhatsApp. And here, like we mentioned, when we initially created our Facebook business page, you can enter the WhatsApp number for your business. And that's gonna allow people to get in touch with you via WhatsApp, show people your number on WhatsApp and create WhatsApp ads. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate back over to settings, then navigate over to your profile, then back here, what we can do before we navigate over to the professional dashboard, which is where we can further optimize our Facebook business page, we want to just navigate through here and have a look at our business page. We can come down here, we can edit our bio, we can edit details, add hobbies, add featured if we like, and then down here we have posts. So what we're gonna do is actually navigate over to the left-hand side and then click on professional dashboard. That's gonna take us to this professional dashboard over here. Now we can navigate down and you can see to grow your audience, finish setting up your page. Down here we have establish your page's identity, completed, 
one step left under provide info and preferences we can click here and see what we need to add here you go link whatsapp so go ahead and do that and then down here two steps left introduce your page we can invite friends over here to follow our facebook business page to like our facebook business page and then we can create a welcome post about our products about our services what our business is all about and any other type of organic post that you want to create now if we navigate back over to the left hand side we can navigate down the page and we can click on inbox and that's going to take us to our inbox where we can manage and set up our inbox meaning we can get messages from instagram we can get messages from facebook and we can also set up automated messages for our facebook business page now it's important to note that facebook is trying to shift all their business related activities into facebook's meta business suite so for example if we click on inbox that's going to take us to our pages inbox now we can see all messages here so for example if we connected our instagram business account with our facebook business page then you can see all your messages down here within your inbox within the meta business suite now we can also navigate up to automations and this is where we can create message automations we can create automations from scratch or we can select instant reply this is a primary automation that you want to set up especially when you're just getting started and that's going to reply with a automatic greeting when someone messages you for the first time then there's other options along here now if you want to learn more about how you can take advantage of facebook's meta business suite then what i'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through all the different features that you can leverage within the facebook the meta business suite which will help you manage your facebook business page so go ahead and check out that tutorial i have one that shows you how to use the meta business suite on mobile as well as on desktop again the meta business suite is a huge platform in itself Okay, so what I'm going to do is head back to my business page by navigating over to my Facebook business page tab. So here we are back on our profile. What you want to do is, again, like I mentioned, take the time to set up your business page based on everything I just covered. Remember, you can navigate over here and you can access your professional dashboard, which is where you can access your meta business suite, or you can access your meta business suite down here. You can access general settings over under manage and you can change some of the settings on your page itself. Now, what you want to do with your Facebook business page is add your business page to your website, add your Facebook business page to other online assets that you have. And your Facebook business page is going to be an extension of your brand on Facebook. It's also going to help people searching on Google for your brand to discover your Facebook business page and ultimately your business. Your Facebook business page is not just for branding, but it also helps with SEO, search engine optimization, and is going to help your business rank higher on Google if you have a website. And what you can do now is start creating posts for your Facebook business page. You can add videos, posts, promote your products, your services, talk about your business, talk about things in your industry, and then invite your friends to like and follow your Facebook business page. And as you consistently create and publish content, your page will naturally grow. However, that is it for this beginner's tutorial, helping you create a Facebook business page in 2023. Again, remember to check out all the useful tutorials down below in the description that will help you further grow your business online in 2023. And there we have it guys, that is it for this updated Facebook business page tutorial for 2023. Now if you have any questions about creating a Facebook business page, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.